Hi, this is Sharon at FitInFun.com and I am talking to you about how I use my Google Analytics. This sidebar is where where you can move around and navigate within Google Analytics and it opens up to this overview with um, the people coming described by what language that they speak. So this is German, DE, Great Britain, English. And you can just learn all that as time goes on. But I don't really care what language they speak because everything I have is in English and I don't know, I'm not on that. So what I do is I open from the overview, click and get to location. And what that tells now is <coughs> what country. And normally it's going to have ten, ten, the first ten shown and it's sorted by how many people came from each country. But I... Um, have opened it up and showing you more and for the month I had 74 countries which is about what I get normally around 70 to 80 countries every month and the reason is because I do target trying to get overseas traffic and I'll talk about how I do that somewhere else but anyway I have that um, and then I normally take it down to city and um, after that I might look at source. So you got this secondary dimension so when you do that you can get a second way to look at it. So I'm going to look at source which is where did they come from. Um, this month I've been working on LinkedIn so I'm just going to take a look and see what kind of uh, LinkedIn I had and I've now sorted by source and I can go down here and find my LinkedIn people. There's Spark people. Um, Facebook and here's LinkedIn so um, I would not normally look at this a whole month at a time I'd normally be looking at a few days or just the day I was looking at um, but anyway you can see I had a bunch of LinkedIn's and I can see where they came from I can see how much they read um, and that is really even more important over here again you can sort up here by the various categories and for me a more interesting thing than just you know where did they come from is how many pages did they read so you can see that when people come from spark people for example they do read a lot of pages often because I have a lot of stuff about losing weight and that is spark people's reason for being so people come here to read about health and weight and then this LinkedIn person read 10 pages and you can also see like how many how many minutes were they there and um, I've always heard that you want to get your average visit duration over a minute and I'm not sure how, what happens after that but anyway you can sort it that way too and um, look at who stayed the most um, and just kind of see who those people are where they came from what and um, we're going to have to go to another screen to look at more information about the pages that they looked at. So I'll be back with that. Be sure to fit in fun.